Okay, our next speaker is Olga Chernovskaya. Olga, can you show yourself and uh, share your screen? Okay, I can't see myself yet. That's okay. Oh yeah, we can see you. Do you see it? I, I can see only you. Okay, now uh, can you share your screen? Okay, okay. You want to see everybody, uh, then you no. have a button for the list of participants that you can put on your screen. Oh. Okay, great. I can I can't see. Yeah, anything. we can we can see your screen. You can start your presentation. Uh -huh. But I can't see myself, but uh, maybe but, it's but not we can, so important. You can see yourself, yeah, <laughs> you can see. Yourself. Oh, I see, I see now. Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm very, uh, very glad to see all my friends here, even if uh, through a computer, but somehow. And I have uh, some rather talk on the situation we are now put in. Uh, obviously, the most topical uh, now are pand pandemic problem. So uh, there are uh, a lot of trials for modeling specific effect of COVID-19 uh, at uh, some new uh, neurophysiology, uh, medicine, medicine, or some other levels. Uh, trials to model specific uh, specific effects of any pandemia, medical, social, etc. But our interest in, is focused on the specific specific effect of self isolation effect. What are the main threats of self isolation? Uh, at a physiological level, lack of motion, lack of fresh air, etc. But uh, all this, uh, in principle, could uh, could be overcome by war. Maybe with the dog, it's uh, our Russian reality. And what is this risk for cognitive and creative ability? For, as a first glance, uh, for any cognitive system, uh, the main Three is lack of information. Main food, uh, because, oh, oh, uh, this can't move. Okay, it's okay. Uh, uh, because information is the main food for any cognitive system. But what information? There are two uh, channels or kinds, uh, kinds of information. Uh, semantic information that is one obtained uh, obtained uh, from uh, outside via mass media, internet, uh, etc. And episodic information that is own personal experience obtained via sensory organ. We will argue that the lack of primary individual perceptual information could result in stagnation of the entire cognitive system. Uh, okay. I can't uh, do something with my screen, but <coughs> I'll do it by myself. Olga, can you just start presentation mode? I can't. Why not? You press on the icon. Uh, yes, I do it, but I can't. At the bottom. At the bottom of you. Yeah, yeah, I do it, but I can't do something. But it uh, doesn't matter, really. Okay. So, uh, we are working uh, with the natural constructive cognitive architecture uh, suggested and presented in our group. Uh, it is based on three cornerstones, dynamical theory of information with its main inference that generation of information and conservation of known information are, are dual functions and they should be implemented by two different subsystems. And uh, another main inference that generating requires noise participation, that is random self-excitation of theory. 
almost the same idea comes from neurophysiology uh, from uh, Elhan and Goldberg, uh, which had argued that uh, cerebral hemispheres are responsible for different tasks. Uh, right hemisphere responsible for learning, that is, uh, generating conf information, while uh, left hemisphere uh, responsible for processing well-known information and conservation. Uh, processing means recognition, prognosis, etc. And uh, third cornerstone is neural computing, uh, including Hopfield type uh, and Grossberg type, Grossberg type processing. Our scheme now uh, was uh, redrawn last year after the questions about where is right and where is left. Now right is to the right, left is to the left. And uh, the system is uh, combined of two subsystems, uh, right one and uh, right hemisystem and left hemisystem in analogy to cerebral hemispheres. Uh, with one is responsible for learning and generating, and another one for conservation and uh, processing. Uh, this is uh, this uh, spe uh, specialization is secured by two different law of uh, connection training. Hebben uh, uh, principle uh, in the right hemisphere, which means uh, amplification of. Uh, generated connections. And uh, Hopfield one uh, redundant cutoff uh, uh, in the left hemisphere, which, uh, which corresponds to a selection of uh, needed important information. The whole uh, system works as follows. Uh, raw primary information is delivered to the block H0 in the right hemisphere from every sensory organs. And uh, this block uh, contains uh, all the information the system has received anywhere. anywhere. Uh, after, after treating, after training uh, uh, connection, connections, uh, uh, each uh, real object uh, gets its personal image, that is chain of uh, excited neurons with trained connections. Well-trained images are transferred uh, to the left hemisphere to the block H type, uh, where uh, well-learned uh, information, uh, well-learned images are presented. And uh, then it goes to uh, to the block uh, G1 for uh, creating a symbols. A uh, symbol uh, represents one neuron that represents all, all the chain uh, corresponding to certain limit. After uh, then, uh, he, at this uh, block, uh, Neuron symbols can create their own chains of uh, generalized images, and well-known images are uh, are transferred to uh, left hemisphere. Why I have uh, announced uh, to stop the demonstration, Alexei? Um, what? Okay, um, actually... I have a nose on my screen to stop the demonstration. What does it mean? I don't see any message. Okay, okay. Uh, you have matter. 10 minutes left. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, uh, all the system is uh, appearing to be based on this uh, block, RZ, uh, H0. And uh, two kinds, uh, two channels of information are delivered uh, uh, by the following way. External semantic information is delivered in symbolic uh, form uh, to uh, symbolic part of the system. And uh, uh, 
uh, semant uh, episodic information feeds sorry uh, feeds uh, uh, this very block it, uh, it's very important because uh, semantic information is selected one uh, it is uh, treated by uh, some other people and episodic information uh, that fits h0 is raw and personal not induced uh, of any opinion of any people and this very information for uh, all the episodic experience so uh, the main truth of self-isolation is the lack of this external sense of information. Why it, uh, why it is important? The role of H0 and creativity. H0 contains all the raw information, while uh, core neurons uh, uh, represent the base for logical thinking, and hollow neurons, this gray gray cloud or hollow of uh, rather weak so-called gray connections represent uh, the, uh, the base uh, actually for subconsciousness the pool for uh, and the subconsciousness actually is the pool of personal non-trivial associations and patterns and uh, some uh base for creativity because creativity was earlier demonstrated to be the challenge to extract the value in direct implicit association and patterns from this gray hollow brain experience and formulated by by any uh, common language in uh, aphoristic form, it uh, could be expressed as to bring a piece of personal brain into the mind and world. Uh, how uh, it could come, how creativity could, real, could be realized? By insight, which is pre preceded by hard laborious work, in, implying mobilization of all resources, that uh, so-called source of creativity. So our idea is the lack of new raw information uh, could lead to stagnation standstill of the whole system. Uh, and uh, uh, the system uh, loses its possibility to learn and uh, poor damage. Uh, H0 result, uh, results in reducing the creative ability, but uh, I uh, want to uh, speak about uh, our uh, equations uh, on, uh, uh, yes, uh, the only thing I, I want to recall, uh, uh, so-called uh, emotional temperature of the system, uh, which is necessary for normal operating. And in our uh, model, it is uh, the amplitude uh, of noise that is uh, random self, uh, self uh, excitation of neurons. Uh, so this is examples of normal behavior of uh, emotional temperature in uh, recognition, uh, prognosis, and uh, uh, complementation of aesthetic emotion cases. But about rules of creativity, it was shown earlier in our works that mobilization of all resources increase the noise uh, up to some critical value when the system falls into the chaos. That is, chaotic jumps around abnormally high value results in noise dominating in R in RH and mixing all known image. So uh, uh, it could result in uh, rather uh, bad, rather good. Uh, and, uh, but uh, the point is that uh, stagnation in this case is impossible. Source of creativity really result in 
uh, overcoming the stagnation uh, in shaking and quenching the uh, system. And uh, at a very high level of noise, the probability of uh, waking up the sleeping neurons can provide. Uh, can provide new implicit as, uh, associations that could uh, lead to new solution unexpected for the system. Uh, sleeping neurons, uh, the, uh, those that never been uh, employed in any uh, training process, learning process. So uh, this very situation, this very chaos, can uh, enriching the individual experience. So. Concluding remarks, main threat of self-isolation is the lack of raw personal information, which could result in stagnation of H0, uh, reduction, that is reduction of learning abilities and redu reduction of cre creative abilities. But paradoxically, it could be overcome but by finding and setting difficult creative tasks that require the source of, of creativity or intellectual fun. And it could help to shake and enrich H0. So creativity remains to be the most mysterious ability which could help to overcome everything. So thank you. Thank you very much, Olga. Um, questions, please. Okay, I Ricardo. Uh, I see the hand uh -huh. of Ricardo. Hello, uh, hello, Olga. Uh, nice to meet you Hi, again, <laughs> at least virtually. Uh, yeah. uh, Olga, I, I, I was wondering that uh, people that are highly uh, imaginative, that uh, lives in a world of imagination, in, mm -hmm. in some sense, they can create in imagination this kind of inputs that normal, ordinary people get only from, from reality. So uh, th this problem that you are identifying here, uh, maybe uh, we will not affect those uh, highly imaginative uh, uh, people because they are creating their own world uh, uh, from imagination. Okay, so I, I was uh, wondering uh, how could you enhance your architecture by uh, including a kind of imaginative uh, module that could be providing this uh, uh, imaginative uh, kind of uh, uh, inputs that uh, apparently uh, will uh, avoid this problem that you are identifying here? What, what do you think about that? Okay, thank you very much, Ricardo. Uh, it's a very good question. And uh, my first idea was uh, that uh, that is uh, the very imagination that could help to overcome uh, the stagnation, the self isolation, etc. But, but actually, uh, even uh, imagination needs for some food, some uh, impulse, some. Uh, external, uh, I don't know, signal, something, some, some uh, inspiring this process. Uh, so uh, you say uh, your uh, the last part of your question uh, refers uh, directly to throes of creativity. I don't need to in which to <coughs> include something else into the scheme. There is. Uh, there is possibility uh, to um, uh, use threads of creativity. Threads of creativity is a tool for imagination, is uh, extreme uh, part, extreme uh, age of imaginary process. When uh, this process uh, uh, gives you not only pleasure, but uh, thrills. <laughs> also, but this these various rules help to um, review all, all your imaginary system, review and include all your um, resources, all the resources of your, let's say, uh, subconsciousness, your um, information that you have uh, recorded for, for uh, over your life. And 
through, through of creativity helps to overcome everything as it's Thank you. Thank you, Walter. Any other questions? Um, yes, yeah, thank you for, for the nice talk. Um, Hedda Schmidtke speaking here. Um, I was wondering um, how uh, do you, would you think that um, the situation now impacts young people who, who don't, um, who did not have the opportunity yeah. to, um, to gain important fundamental episodic memories uh, of, over these uh, formative years? Yeah, I see. Thank you, Head. Uh, very good question. Uh, it's a hard question. You are right that uh, the lack of episodic experience uh, couldn't help to do something with uh, the situation and uh, prevents to imagine, prevents to create some own world uh, that could uh, uh, opposite the surrounding uh, bad reality. But uh, I would say that young people uh, should read more, just read, not see uh, the uh, movie multiplications, etc., etc., read. Because reading uh, the text, reading uh, good literature, I'd say, mm -hmm. actually helps to imagine by uh, own abilities, by own resources, and uh, to enrich the imagination, to enrich uh, ex uh, internal experience uh, with respect to uh, opposite, uh, with opposite to the surrounding bed reality. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I guess uh, we can go into the break now. What do you think? Thank you very much, Olga, for your talk. Thank you.